so in love with you. And I'm so happy to be here to share the highest truth and be the highest truth in love and action. We are your examples of love and truth in action. This is an important update. Because today is D-Day, meaning Decision Day. Love or fear, what do you choose? When you choose love, you receive everything. Love and wisdom. Because love is the reality. This is the first contact information of high velocity light, equal true information, the silent and now visible revealed evolution, the liberation of humanity. Today is D-Day, Decision Day. Which path have you chosen? There is a choice to be made now of two different paths. One path is the light, and one is the darkness. The choice is all up to you. However, only one may be walked, lived, and experienced. If you want to speak the truth, then you have to be the truth. Love from the Galactic Federation of Light, the Kingdom Company of Heaven, from Galactic Center, the real navel of the planet Earth. We are your family of light, masters of light, the alone, your Earth allies, representing the love and truth on planet Earth equal heart, and we are here to welcome you home into the light. Also present in the physical manifest with you are your parents of creation, Mother and Father God on the map. Yes, it's really us. We have missed our royal angels for over 13 millennia of moments. This is now over. We shall never miss you again. As for those that have chosen the light, will never again experience duality. Rejoice, love. Be in celebration as love has truly. Welcome home into the kingdom of heaven and the light. Your true home. May you experience the gifts love is offering. In which love heals everything. We are here. And Mother Earth sighs a relief from Russia. Everyone in the light is going home. This is the reality, and this is the truth. And every message that the angels give me. The attributes of a real light being of love and truth. On planet Earth, you heart, which is the army of light. The warriors, persevering, fearless, persistent, 
strong, courageous and brave, consistent, can overcome all obstacles, never gives up, and never gives in. Ruthless compassion. Love has completely stepped out of the game of illusion and always tells the truth in the no matter what. Love recognizes that we are all one with all that love is, open, vulnerable, and available. Love speaks only the highest truths and has stepped into their light, which is the true power. Light has now stepped forward on planet Earth apart. Love overcomes all adversity. Standing in your light, you find oneness and a universe overflowing in a vast abundance. It's not abundance of having things or stuff. It's the non-attachment to things and stuff that is your true freedom. Because as long as you're attached to stuff, you are under the control of the dark ones. You have been taught to forget who you truly are. However, today is the day that you remember that you are love everywhere present as love is rising and love is the truth. You can follow a snake or fly freely with the eagles. We have the light, are all eagles, and we have wings because we are all royal angels equal to you. Greetings, <laughs> many blessings, miracles, and many magical synchronistic events. Today is a very important day, as your decisions have to be made now, as one path must move up and forward, and the other one, well, you can say backwards. We are going into further detail about energy today. Due to our most recent meeting upon the ships, we must share the exact event that the Hopis were preparing you for. This is the event where each of you are at the fork in the road. Today marks that day. As we have stated, this is why we receive information on a need to know basis. And this information today is what we have received. This is detail, a decision day on which path in the fork in the road you are choosing. One path guides you home into the light, and the other path takes you nowhere, which is nothing. Back home. For those of you choosing the light, your divine inheritance is being given to you. We cannot make this choice. All we can do is provide the highest truths so that you are informed to choose your path and destination. We have clearly chosen our path of the light and love and truth and in service to the whole on this planet where everybody Fullness of being, joy, and love. This day is coming. 
and arrive in my life. You and humanity are in an event that the hope is shared with you and their prophecies. It is the fork in the road where you must choose a path. In some of our previous messages, we have shared information about a particular group we call the Force or Spiritually Most, which is currently leading the path of the darkness, while we are walking the path of light. This is the reality on planet Earth, equal heart at this time. So today is the decision day. The Hopis shared with you there was to be a time when everyone would come to a fork in the road. And a choice would have to be made. One has to follow them towards darkness, while the other one is the path to the light, where the light is your guide. In the kingdom of heaven, there are no followers. There's just co-creators, co-workers, with all being equal. One path is asking you to follow them, while the other path just gives you the information of truth to lift yourselves up. These two choices are clearly a representation of your free will. All the great masters that have walked this earth, Jesus, Buddha, Gandhi, amongst others, came in sharing the truth about oneness and love, the love being everywhere present. The darkness then proceeded to persecute them and then isolate them and separate them into religion. In truth, we are all one family. All one family of love and light. In the grace of unconditional love. So, be love and say love. We highly recommend stepping into your true light and letting it shine. No more hiding behind the bushes. Spiritual egos are the greatest illusions and liars and pretenders currently on this planet. They are the most dangerous because they can look and pretend to be just like the light, even through the information they share. We have reviewed their information and it is very vague although it dresses itself up pretty well, especially for others who have not let go of all attachments, and this information is like their food. Spiritual egos use what we call sleight of hand tricks. They can, just, they can look just like the true light and love beings. The difference, however, can truly be seen because those of the true light will investigate what is the highest truth. And the highest truth always serves for the greatest good of all. The light is always willing to learn, and the darkness is not. The job of the dark is to gather all the dark together so they can attract those with spiritual egos. They are representing the path of the dark for you, for those that would like to choose this path and have this experience. One path leads you nowhere, while the other path of truth guides you to everything. Which is the kingdom of heaven, the true garden of Eden. Choosing the light is a constant moment-to-moment -moment choice. While ignorance is a constant choice 
of making no choice. We also call these the fence sitters. They are like vultures. They sit on the fence and wait to see which side wins, then attempt to jump on that side. While walking the path of light, you cannot sit on the fence because eventually you just fall off backwards. Reverend Humpty Dumpty. You see, the darkness has no clue about the divine plan because it has its own plan and think that its plan is the only one that exists. We say oops. Light one equal one. Ignorance equals zero equal none. Darkness wants to control over creation, and all the while, creation is uncontrollable. Inevitably, that. If people were to listen to us right now, we could turn your economy around in six months, and everyone would be overly abundant. We understand clearly zero point, and getting to zero point is like liftoff to one equal everything. The only banker we know that is an honest banker is Saint Germain, and he has invested heavily in the kingdom of heaven on earth equal heart. Allow the divine abundance to now flow to those of the to be loved and be loved. You are to receive your divine inheritance and only those of the light receive the divine inheritance. And so it is on earth as it is in heaven. The creed and gratitude. Event. Today is your day, your decision to which path you are going to choose. Just keep in heart. One path gives you everything, and the other path gives you nothing. Listen to your heart, where love is always there, and transmission and all love is unconditional. We are so in love with humanity. Love the earth.